Hello everyone, uh, this is Mr Woods and I'm going to show you another cool thing you can do with vector graphics today, uh, mainly using the pen tool but also all sorts of other things. So, as you can see here, um, I've got a picture. Can you recognise who it is? Maybe you will in a minute. Um, uh, and I've created this using vector graphics, okay? And if I click over on layers, oh, they all appear. Um, yes, yeah, so click layers and you can see all these different layers that make up this image. All right. And if I use control and my mouse wheel, I can zoom in because the, the thing about vector graphics is even though I zoom all the way in till you can see the individual pixels, the, or, or the grid at least, um, you can see that these lines stay sharp. That's what we like about vector graphics. All right. Brilliant. Okay. So there's Duo. So how did I make it? Well, if I start turning off some of these layers, you can see I've got one at the top called Rasta. That's the original image. And then what I did is I traced over it. So look, if I go to BG, turn that off, the sky's gone, BG background. The sky's gone, you can see the photo poking out. Let's turn off left hair, right hair, neck's gone, neck shadow is gone. That was a separate uh, shape. The head is now gone, the top of her hair, the left eye, the left eye iris, the left eye pupil, the left eye dot. OK, all these um, different shapes just for this one image. All right. So that's how I build it up just with loads and loads and loads of different shapes. So let me show you how I do it just quickly. I'll get you started. So I need to close this. Close. OK. And then go file open. So I've already got my picture of Dua Lipa. So I'm going to open it from over there. There we go. And there she is right. There's the picture I found of the person I wanted to do just because she was on Glastonbury the other day. Um, so let's just zoom out a little bit, control mouse wheel, there we go. Um, so I've got to have a little think now, what's going to be on top of what? Um, I've still got, looks like I've got all the old layers here, but if I click layers, yeah, they disappear, great. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is lock, by the way, is lock that layer, because I don't want to be able to move it, so now I can't do anything to it, so I've locked up that layer. Um, now the neck will be there and then the face will be on top of the neck and then the hair will be on top of the face apart from this hair which will be behind everything. All right okay I can do this so I'm going to start with the neck and I'm just going to do it quickly so you can get an idea. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit whoops if you hold the space bar you can pick it up and move it around. I'm going to grab my pen tool Okay, I'm going to go to design. Yep, so the fill is off stroke. I'm actually going to turn off the stroke as well. All I want is my pen line. Now, the dress is going to go over the neck. So anything that's going to be under the dress, I can just click, just go round. And it doesn't matter what shape I do. But the neck, when I get to here, now this is going to show. So I'm going to zoom in. So control mouse wheel, space bar to move. And I've got to follow that line. Now, the best way is sort of go part way along and click and drag along the line that you're following. And you'll see that as I do that, space bar, I'm going to ignore the necklace. I'm not going to worry about that. And I just drag until the line is following the curve that I'm following. So the curve of Dewar's neck here. So space bar, drag down. Okay, now, control mouse wheel. This bit is going to be behind the face, so I can just go straight across there. <laughs> Don't worry about that, and then go down to where I want to start again. So, space bar to move, control mouse wheel to zoom. And again, just go there, click and drag along the line you're following. Okay, now I would normally take more time than this, and then finish it off. But there we are. Now, how do I fill that in? Well, I'm going to go to, I'm going to make sure actually that I've selected it on layers. So there you go, it's selected. You can tell it's selected, it's got a box around it. And then I'm going to go to design and I'm going to go down to fill. I don't want to, I don't want to stroke, no outline. So fill, and I'm going to get this eyedropper and I'm actually going to pick the color from Dua Lipa. So I'm going to go with that color. And it's all one, so it looks a bit flat, but don't worry about it, okay? Now what I've got to do, if I go back to layers, I can now control zoom out, space bar to move. I've got to do a face, but the neck's covering up a face. Oh dear. So what do I do? Well, I lock the neck. Or oh, actually, can I rename it first? So double click, call it neck. Otherwise you'll forget which one's which. Lock it, switch it off. You see these eyes? You can switch them off. So the neck's still there. Whoop. 
but switch it off. All right, let's get in on the head. I'm gonna do this quickly because I wanna show you how to do the eyes. We haven't got a lot of time. So this is gonna be a bit rubbish, but anyway, here we go. So pen tool, start here, click, click, drag. Ooh, hoo -hoo. take more time than this, kids. Uh, click, drag, click, drag. Oh dear, that's gone wrong. Oh dear, control Z, control Z, try again. Click, drag, click, drag. So I'm gonna go around the ear. So that was a click and followed by a click drag. So that was a single click followed by, oh no, hang on. Followed by, control Z by the way is how I'm undoing mistakes. So I'm gonna go around a hairline just quickly. I'm not gonna go and bother to go up inside that um, center parting, although I could, I probably should. I did on my original. Anyway, this will do, right, and then finish it off. There's a, whoa, control Z, control Z. There we go, finish it off, right. And direct selection tool, design, and grab a fill color. So somewhere off, so get the eyedropper, somewhere that's a bit shiny, that's all right there. Is that what I want? Oh, it's not even selected it. So go back to layers, select a face, go to design, select a fill, select an eyedropper, uh, that's probably a nice color. There you go. It's going to be slightly different from a neck because people's faces are different colors from the neck. So, double click. That's a face. Lock it. Switch it off. All right, let's get in tight on these eyes then. Hopefully you're sort of thinking by now, oh yeah, I can do this, I can do this. Now, eyeball is one thing. Iris is another thing. Eyelashes is another thing. And the little dot in there, oh my goodness. Now the eyes are the window to the soul. So you do need to get these right. If you don't get these right, it won't look like the person. So grab the pen tool. Here I go. So I'm going to start about there. And I'm just going to go, oh, it's colouring it in flesh coloured now. Don't worry, I'll fix that in a minute. So go to about there and drag it quite a long way. Go to about there and drag it and then finish it off. Right. Click, click, call it. Uh, now this is her left, it's not my left, but it's her left eyeball. All right, now go to design. I don't want that. Oh, my lights in my room have turned off. Wake up lights. I'm back. <laughs> you don't get that on many videos. Right, let's turn it off and then grab grab this colour here. Because her eyes, I mean, they are white, but they're not actually white. But I do want like that colour. There we are. It's kind of grey, aren't they? Never mind. Um, right, so do that. Left eyeball. Lock it. Turn it off. Now, let's do the, um, the iris, which is round. All right, so I'm using, I'm holding down shift. I'm using the circle tool to make a proper circle, get it in the right place, get it in the right color. Let's see if I can just nip that color out of there. Perhaps that color there, whoa, that one. And that hasn't changed, so that's not very good. Why has that not changed? There we go, that'll do, some sort of brown. All right, anyway, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to do this quick. So that, but that's got a round top. So now I need to get my direct selection tool and just pull that down because that bit doesn't need to be there. Okay, so that's, I would just call that our eye pupil or iris. So that's the left iris, it's her left. And lock that and switch that off. Now, these eyelashes, this is the bit I wanted to show you because they can be a bit fiddly. I'm gonna start them down here and I'm gonna go up to that one there and I'm gonna pull up. Let me just, hang on, control Z that away. I don't want any fill while I'm doing this because otherwise I won't be able to see what I'm doing. All right, let's try again. So click there, go up there, pull it up. And then I'm not gonna do the bottom, I'm just gonna to go to here and then, hmm, that's not quite right, hang on kids. Let's do it like this. Let's go to here and then just to there. There we go. And now I can just do the bottom and the top. And the bottom is a pull and the top is a click. There you go. I've got it now. The bottom is a pull. 
the top is a click, the bottom is a pull, the top is a click. And you can see I'm getting these nice eyelash shaped curves. <laughs> and again, I could spend a long time doing this and getting it absolutely right. However, I'm not going to. I did this big one. Look, she's got some big eyelashes here. Do you think they're real, girls? <laughs> Are they real eyelashes? Just naturally got these amazing eyelashes? No, probably not. And then I'm just going to go around the bottom here and finish it off. And then select it. Select. Ooh, it's disappeared. Go to the layers. It's all right. Path. No, that one. Yes, that's the one. Um, go to design, go to the fill colour, go to the dropper tool and grab colour for her eyelashes. Okay, now if I go back to my layers, start switching things back on, you can start to see I'm starting to get something that looks vaguely like Dua Lipa. All right, now you take more time than me. Um, uh, sorry, my light's turned off. I think I'm going to leave that in the video. That's quite funny. Um, but there you go. Have a go. Remember that if you're not happy, with your line, you can grab the direct selection tool and you can move things and you can change anchor points and all of that. All right, so if it does not right, you can change it. So my advice, get the shape done, then tweak it. Okay, pick a, pick a celebrity or anybody you like and see if you can trace them and make it look like them. All right, have fun, goodbye.